morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Junk of Gems. Um, right, right here is a junk that we turned into a gem. Um, if you've uh, ever seen any of our earlier videos before, um, you know that we got this four-wheeler for free um, because somebody thought it was junk. And uh, we took it home and we put a new carburetor on it, a new battery in it, and we fired it up and we've been driving it for a couple years now. Well, now it's time for another little upgrade. <laughs> um, the starter went out and the starter solenoid went out. So Shorty said for her birthday, all she wanted was to go gem hunting and get her four-wheeler going. Well, really all she wanted was to get her four-wheeler going. And then Mike and Lissa over there at DD5, they said, well, let's take her gem hunting. And that was game on. So uh, one of you lovely, awesome subscribers decided to send her the parts because we were supposed we were told her we were going to wait a little bit till we got paid for the, uh to get the parts but one of y'all sent the parts so here's some of the brand new parts so we're going to be putting the starter on this morning and the new solenoid and hope she starts <laughs> she hasn't been running a while um she shut it off one day and it just would not start back up again so uh after testing the starter i realized that the starter and the starter solenoid were both bad so we're just going to go ahead, um, well actually it was just the starter that was bad. The solenoid is probably still good, but um, being the kit come with a new solenoid, we're going to go ahead and put it on. Um, plus we have a wiring harness for this one over here, because this one here, again, shut it off one day, and it just wouldn't start back up again. Wouldn't do anything, wouldn't engage the starter or nothing. So um, I think it's just the, the wiring harness has gone bad. A lot of times on these little four-wheelers like this, the starter switch up here goes bad. Uh, just like this one has gone bad, but we've been jumping it with a uh, with a screwdriver for months and months and months. So um, we're going to go ahead and put these on, which is super easy. As you can see, it's just two little bolts that go in right here. It slides in the hole, two little bolts, and it's ready to go. And then the solenoid is real easy to get to right there, and uh, we should be rocking and rolling. So we're going to put it together and see if she starts. All these starters do is you just take the two bolts out of the back here and you just pop them out. See, there's a little rubber o-ring right there and then once you take it off the the wiring harness usually comes off with it but as you can see I've already taken it apart um, but yeah this already automatically comes with it and this hooks to the solenoid um, but they're they're pretty simple to do so I'm gonna stick it right back down in the hole here and a lot of times on these also they got this uh uh this is oil up in here so you take a little bit of that oil and you stick it on your finger and you're rubbing around this o-ring right here before you try to slide it in there otherwise you take a chance on de uh, destroying the the o-ring when you're trying to slide it back in she just sits right down in the hole like that <laughs> Yeah, ain't that par for the course? Oh yeah, just like that, huh? <laughs> 10 minutes later, you're still trying to fit it in the hole. No, it goes in usually pretty easy. Once you just get it lined up in there a little bit, just like that. Sometimes you'll have to slide it back out a little bit and adjust the gear so it lines up in there which is what I may have to do with this one and you just basically pull it out and just turn the little gear just a little bit and a lot of times she'll just go right back in Unfortunately, it's wet down here, so I'm trying to put my knee down so I can get a little better grip and shot of it. Nice thing about these little this one, uh, this four wheeler here is called a Toto T A O T O, something like a T A O T A O, something like that. Or I don't know how you spell it, y'all, but. <laughs> uh, we can just get her to line up in there now. Okay. 
like I said, sometimes they're just they're a little challenging, but they're they're not super hard to, to replace. They're just you just there it goes. You just gotta line it up right, and then once it goes in it like that, it's real, real easy. It uh, came with the solenoid, the new solenoid, and it came with the wrench and new bolts. Even came with fancy little nuts for the for the uh, uh, solenoid here, which is kind of cool. We bought these off. I uh, got these on Amazon. It's just two bolts right here, y'all. Let's see if you can see that. So there's just two little bolts right there. That's the only thing that holds it in. When you're taking them out for the first time, um, I will say um, you have to uh, get on the other side. And what I use is a, like a small 3 8 drive extension. And I just come on the other side of it over here and you just tap on it a little bit and they'll come right out. that so And this is the hardest part y'all just getting getting your fingers down into some of this stuff yeah look at that hole guys can't even i can even barely get a shot of them oh, there we go okay. there we go Bless you, bless you, bless you. Oh, thank you. Sorry about that, guys. Alright. So then, you see these two fancy little slots right here? They, uh, they will connect the solenoid right up there. When they ain't been up. Getting them back in. They are. They're a little, little challenging sometimes. But there it goes. Let's see. Once it goes right on there, there, it'll just pop right on there, and it'll finish out just fine. And we'll take this wire. Get that. That's so awesome. If I can just find the plug to it. Yep. It's right there. Do you see it? This is the plug no, right. I don't see it. Here's here. This one? There it is. I found it for him. And there's the other one. That one there was just about couldn't get my fingers to work. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, the ends of that one's broken, so she's not gonna lock together. How are y'all? Well, welcome back to Joke the Gems. 
Um, as you know, you know, we got buggies and four wheelers and, and we have, uh, you know, our, our specialty buggy over here. Plus we've got our tractor and, and, uh, our, uh, lawnmower over here. Well, this is one of the batteries out of the lawnmower. Um, it took a little bit of a hit over the, you know, over the cold, been sitting a few months. So, uh, EBL reached out to us and said, uh, we wanted, uh, wanted us to try one of their solar chargers. Well, being that we're trying to go completely off grid, we thought, well, what better way to try it, you know? Um, this way we can, it's a maintainer um, and it's a solar charger. So this is the EBL. As you can see, it's not, it's not very big. Um, pretty nice little setup here. Uh, so we've got a little bit of sunshine today. So we thought, you know what? Today would be a good day to try it. So we're gonna hook this thing up lay this out right here we got our handy dandy voltmeter so we're gonna see what kind of output this thing actually makes here we we'll also want to show you uh, all the stuff that it comes with because it is a pretty pretty handy little uh, little setup here um, I did try it out first so hence the reason it's it's unboxed because I just wanted to see for myself uh, exactly what it was putting out and, and what it was doing. As you can see, the cord here is about, about six foot long. Um, it does come with a cigarette lighter. So you can plug it into a cigarette lighter type uh, setup to maintain your battery on your vehicle. Um, it also comes with these uh, little suction cups. There's four of them in here. As you can see, they will uh, they just pop right in these little holes right here, and you can set this thing in your windshield, and maintain your battery, or stick it on a window or whatever you know. Um, comes with these little clips, so you can also hang the charger off of something. You can put it in these two holes and let it hang, which is pretty handy. So we're gonna put her to the test now. She's so been sitting here in the sun just for a couple of seconds, so we're gonna hook it right up here to the to the meter itself directly and we're going to see what it puts out well, as you can see right here she is charging at 14.5857 volts 56 that's pretty sweet so now let's check the battery like I said, I did have this on here for about 10 minutes beforehand. It was at 9 volts, and now it's at already at 1219. So, we're going to hook it to the battery itself. Again, for a little bit. See what it's doing with the battery. Make sure we got this on positive and negative. We're going to go right directly to the battery. Eleven point nine six. So let's go up here to the charger itself. Twelve point three two. So it's maintaining the battery. <coughs> but we like this, y'all. This is a this is a pretty handy little setup. It's real lightweight. Folds in half. Um, again, folds in half, you know, you can set it up, hang it pretty much anywhere, hook it, hook it on the little tabs, hang it up, see what it's charging here, moving it around. Obviously the direct sun gives it a lot more charge, you can see right here on the meter, um, if you get it right in the direct sun, she's charging at 14, so that's pretty sweet. Um, let me shade it and see what it does now. We shade it. 12.48, 47, 46. That's completely shaded, y'all. That's pretty much barely getting any sunlight whatsoever, and it's still putting out 12.4 volts. So let's try it now without it being on the battery, and we're going to completely shade it. See what she does there just kind of curious oh so we hooked up this 1000 watt inverter to our 
commercial battery over here that we use on our tractor. Um, with the tractor and the uh, with the tractor battery and the inverter alone, it would not fire up the the grinder. But uh, as soon as we hook the solar panel to it, watch. <laughs> it's enough to keep that big commercial battery kicking uh, to do this, which is uh, that's pretty sweet. Uh, so now we know with just this little that big that battery and this little thing right here, we can go out here and set this thing in the sun and we can grind. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. <laughs> BL, um, we just wanted to, uh, I know we were only agreed to a three minute integration on this video, okay, but we're having so much fun. We're having fun with this. <laughs> now that we're learning what this little thing can do, um, we're, we're going to do a, low, a whole lot more for y'all because uh, this little 1000 watt inverter, um, this would be ideal with this, with this uh, commercial battery that we use on our tractor and this solar panel, if we're out in the boonies, um, you know, and, and we need power. I, I want to know that I can hook this stuff up um, and run it. Um, so now we know that it runs our grinder. Now we're going to try our palm sander. It's a Craftsman uh, regular four and a half inch palm sander. So we're going to plug this in to the inverter and we're going to see what we got here. Okay. That's pretty sweet. Um, what else can we do? <laughs> I wonder if it'll run both of them at the same time. So let's fire up the grinder since it's a lot, a lot of draw. Okay. So the inverter itself doesn't really like it a lot, but the fact that this thing is maintaining the voltage for that battery and you can hear it, y'all heard it picking it up and down, up and down. Um, so that's telling me this, this little solar panel is doing what it's supposed to do as far as keeping that battery going. Um, Cause I, let me test this battery now and see where she's at. I'm sure she's charging, but let me take this off of here and see what she's doing by herself right now. Twelve point three. So let's hook her back up real quick. Okay, now the inverter's on. Let's set the inverter. It's twelve, still twelve three, but it went up to twelve three six. So now the inverter's off. And we are maintaining the 12.3.6. Okay, here's the test. Uh, we had to replace the starter on this one. And the uh, solenoid. Also the CDI box. We had to change it out on this one. So um, here's the test. Let's see if she'll start. I still don't have a starter switch because this starter, the new starter switch doesn't, uh, isn't compatible with ours. So, but. That's what we'll have to do. Okay. Yay, she runs. Yeah. That one's up and running.
gonna have to get a new battery for it because the uh, the old battery just doesn't have enough cranking amps. Yep. But at least she starts and runs in now again. So, like I said, new battery, and we should be back in action. Sounds good to me. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna put it back together, and I'm just gonna wait on a battery until we can get a battery for it. Um, are you going to test the other battery again and see, or just well, wait? Well, I mean, I can, but... We'll see. Let's, Hold let's, on, guys. Let's check it real quick, see if the other old battery now, now that I've got everything working Time. good, let's see if she will work. Yeah, we'll see if it does work. This is the test, guys. This is a good battery. It's showing 12 volts, but it don't have enough cranking amps. So that's what we're thinking. So we need a bigger battery for... Cause this battery is you can see how tiny it is man these things don't need a big battery they just i don't know well we'll this, see this battery is getting old no i thought that was just brand new thought we just put that one in oh, i mean they only last a year or two oh well, i don't think it's been two but we'll see this is the test guys Let's hook our handy dandy solar charger up to it too, just to give it a little extra boost here. And you see where that is, right? That solar, it's been up there. We're gonna test this, test it out. See if this battery is actually up to par. Nope. That it, battery is not up the par. Oh, it's... Is it off? Nope, she ain't got enough... She ain't got enough juice to do anything. So, yep. New battery it is, guys. So, yeah. Because, uh... We're going to show you again here just in case. There it is, this battery just shot. We're just gonna plug it right back into this right here. These little four wheelers, they don't take much. Yeah, but just because a battery is showing 12 volts, y'all, doesn't mean it has the cranking amps um, to run. So this is the switch that we need also. We need this switch right here because this one's shot. This It won't even push the starter. So let me get my handy bob screwdriver over here. And this is what something we've been doing with this thing for a long time. Like Shorty even knows how to start it this way. See? Yep. We gotta get a bigger battery, guys. switch works on that starter on that button but we just got to get a new one of these hey at least it starts it's going yep so i can put it back together and just gotta get a battery and and get a battery and we'll yep. be rock and rolling so that's what we need new starter switch and new battery we'll figure it out yes we will um, I know uh, the other four wheeler is the battery's probably shot on it one too on it too even though it's showing 12 volts I can just about bet it ain't got enough juice on this one either to do it um, I am gonna go ahead and take it out and try it on this four wheeler just to see Okay, uh, well, but let's... chances are it's probably it probably doesn't because this thing doesn't it's got a full battery and it won't do nothing So We'll see we'll be back guys